He was one of the most successful generals of the French Revolutionary Army. He was the Emperor of France from 1804 to 1814. He is regarded as one of history's greatest military leaders. So ladies and gentlemen, this is Napoleon Bonaparte for you. Napoleon Bonaparte was a fascinating figure who has left a legacy in France and Europe. Napoleon was born in Corsica, an island in the Mediterranean Sea in 1769. He attended military schools in France and became an artillery officer in the French army. He distinguished himself in the French Revolution, a period of political and social upheaval that overthrew the monarchy and established a republic. He suppressed a royalist rebellion in Paris in 1795 and gained the favour of the new government, the Directory. He led successful campaigns in Italy and Egypt against the enemies of France, such as Austria and Britain. He became famous for his military genius and charisma. He also married Josephine de Behurinius, a wealthy widow and a socialite in 1796. He seized power in France in a coup in 1799 and became the first council, the head of the state. He reformed the laws and administration, the education and the economy of France. He also made peace with some of his former foes such as Britain and Russia. He crowned himself the Emperor of France in 1804, claiming to be the successor of Charles Magne and the protector of the revolution. He expanded his empire by conquering most of the Europe, such as Germany, Italy, Spain and the Netherlands. He also created a large and loyal army known as the Grande Arma. He faced several coalitions of European nations that opposed his domination and tried to restore the old order. He defeated them in many battles such as Austerlitz, Jena, Fredlin and Wagram. He also divorced Josephine in 1809 and married Mary Louise, the daughter of the Austrian Emperor in 1810. He invaded Russia in 1812 with a huge army hoping to force the Russian Tsar to submit to his will. However, he faced a harsh winter, a scorched earth policy. He lost most of his army and had to retreat. This marked Napoleon's downfall. He was defeated by a coalition of Britain, Russia and Croatia and Austria in the Battle of Leipzig in 1813 and the Battle of Paris in 1814. He was forced to abdicate and was exiled to the island of Elba in the Mediterranean Sea. He escaped from Elba and returned to France where he regained the support of his army and his people. He tried to regain his throne and his lost glory in a final campaign known as the Hundred Days. He was defeated again by the coalition force of Croatia and Britain in the Battle of Waterloo in 1815. He was captured and exiled to the island of St. Helena in the Atlantic Ocean where he died in 1821. Napoleon is also considered as the Mad King by some people because of his ambitious and aggressive actions such as conquering most of the Europe, waging war against multiple coalition enemy forces such as invading Russia with disastrous consequences. Some historians also speculated that he suffered from various mental and physical illness such as bipolar disorder, epilepsy, stomach cancer. Some of the crazy facts about Napoleon Bonaparte are number 1. He wrote a romance novel titled Clécion et Aiguille which was based on his love affair with Desiree Clary. Number 2. He was not short as people thought him to be. Number 3. He had one illegitimate son, Charles Leon. He jailed 13 Catholic cardinals for not attending his second marriage. The life of Napoleon Bonaparte was full of remarkable events and achievements. He rose from a modest background to become history's one of the most powerful and influential rulers. If you enjoyed this video, then give a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe to my channel. You can give your opinions about Napoleon Bonaparte below on the comment section. Thank you.